Hi everyone, it's Hannah from Hanjan Crochet and today we are making my feather stitch mittens um, which is a really quick and simple pattern um, and I've sized them in lots of different sizes through from children through to adults. Um, it's made with really lovely um, soft and squidgy and bulky yarn so they're really quick to whip up. You have a lovely um, cuff to turn back on and this feather stitch at the top here um, is just so lovely and cosy on your hands. Um, so what we are going to need is um, some bulky weight yarn. So I've got Wonder Fluff here from We Crochet. It's just the nicest, squishiest yarn. Um, an eight millimeter crochet hook. And this is my Streamline Swirl from Furls. It's an M and eight millimeter. Um, a pair of scissors and a needle for your ends and a stitch marker if you'd like to because you might want to pop one in to keep track of where your cuff is. But the, um, the pattern for this is free on my blog and I'll put the link down below and you can buy a PDF if you'd like to and all the information for that um, is there too. So let's get going. So throughout the tutorial I'm going to speak in US crochet terms and I'm going to be making the smallest size of mitten here but as I say they are sized up and all of the sizes are over on the blog if you'd like to go and find them. So we're going to start by chaining 20. And so now we're going to work back along that foundation chain and we're going to work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and in the next seven for this size. Now it will vary depending on which size you're going to make so make sure that you check your numbers. So that's going to set the um, cuff for us. They're the cuff stitches that we have now. And now we're going to set up ready to work our feather stitch section. So we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain one, skip one, and then half double crochet in the next. And then you just repeat those two all the way to the end. So chain one, skip one, and then half double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, and then half double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet, and then we come to the end to chain one, skip one, and then half double crochet in that last stitch there. And so that's our setup row ready for the mittens to begin. And now we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one and we're going to half double crochet in that first stitch there. And then we're going to work what's called a beginning feather stitch here. So we're going to chain one and it's very similar to a normal feather stitch, which we'll show you in a second. You yarn over and you pop into that chain one space there and pull up a loop. And then you yarn over and then you're going to pop it right down here into your foundation chain. And you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to make sure that that loop sits as high as the rest of your loops. You're going to yarn over and then you're going to pop it into the next chain one space here and pull up a loop and so now you should have seven loops on your hook so it's nice fluffy yarn so you can't really see them that well so one two three four five six and seven and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all of them and that's your beginning feather stitch and then you're going to chain one and then you're going to work um, a full feather stitch, which is very, very similar. You're going to yarn over, pop it into the chain one space below and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pop it into 
the um, chain as it is now, but it will be a stitch in the future. Two rows below and pull up a loop to the height that you need it to be. Yarn over into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all of your loops on your hook. So you're popping them into three different places. So into the chain one below, into the stitch two rows below, and then to the next chain one space. And pull through. You chain one, and you carry on working for as many spaces as you have. And then at the end here, when we've got to the end of our feather stitch section, we're going to chain one and then you're going to work a half double crochet into this next stitch here. And that, um, that signifies the end of the feather stitch section. And then you're going to work a half double crochet in the back loop only of your cuff stitches. So for this size, we've got eight of those. So that's one, two, three, four, and eight. And that's row two complete. So then we turn our work. So for row three, we're going to chain one and we're going to slip stitch in the back loop only of all the cuff stitches. So that's eight for this size. And so now we are ready to work back into the feather stitch section. So we're going to half double crochet in this first stitch here. We're going to chain one and then we're going to do a beginning feather stitch here. And then chain one. And you just carry on working feather stitches. And then as we get to the end here, we've chained one and then we're going to work a half double crochet into the last stitch here. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat row two. So we're gonna have a half double crochet in the first. We're going to chain one and then you're going to feather stitch. and chain one and then feather stitch up until the end and you'll see that it um, gets easier to just feel where you're putting your stitches they need to go in three places so just below two below which once you've got feather stitches there you have to sort of have a little search around to find it and then in the next chain one space and you see it creates a lovely soft squishy texture and then we chain one and we've come back to that um, half double crochet there and then we need to half double crochet in the back loop only of the remaining stitches for the cuff
and we're going to turn and you're going to repeat row three. So you're going to slip stitch into the back loop only of your cuff stitches. And then you're ready for your feather stitch section. So half double crochet, chain one, and then feather stitches. And then we chain one and we half double crochet in the last. So now rows two and three are the repeat of the pattern and you're going to repeat that set pattern um, up until row nine for the size I'm making but for various different amounts of rows. So do go and check the pattern on the blog um, or on the PDF and you'll find out how many you need to do for your size. And then once you've done um, that um, amount of repeats I will meet you back here and we will work the last row together and then add the thumb so now we've got to the end of your um, row repeats for the set pattern we need to turn and do a final repeat of row two so by now you'll be a dab hand at these feather stitches so it won't take you any time at all And then at the end of this row, we'll be ready to seam together and add the thumb, which we'll do all in one go. So now we've finished the main part of the mitten, we need to turn and we're first of all going to join the cuff stitches together here. We're going to chain one to give ourselves space and then we're going to join with a slip stitch seam or you can sew them together but then you would have to break your yarn so it probably makes more sense to do it like this. So we have one. just follow the stitches like for like it is really tricky to see in this fluffy yarn um, so make sure you take your time um, the other thing I was going to say about <laughs> this yarn choice um, the pattern obviously does come in these smaller sizes for children but I do think that perhaps this yarn might not be the most sensible of um, choices for small children if they're anything like my children then um, they would be ruined very very quickly uh, but that's fine because that's what children's mittens are for aren't they so maybe probably a more sturdy yarn choice uh, for if you're going to make them um, for younger children so there we are we've um, joined the cuff stitches now and now we're ready to start working the thumb and we're going to do that by working a really long extension here basically and so we're going to half double crochet into this stitch here because you're back at where your feather stitch um, began so half double crochet there and then chain one 
where the end of my yarn is, there we are, chain one, and then work a feather stitch as normal. And then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to half double crochet in the next, which will be this next um, feather stitch. And then you turn your work, because now we're only going to be working into these stitches here, because that's going to become your thumb. And so for the next row, we're going to chain one, and half double crochet in the first, chain one, and then work a feather stitch, and then chain one, and half double crochet in the last stitch. It's tricky to see. There we go. And then you're going to repeat that row um, for as many times as the pattern tells you. So it's um, eight for the size that I'm making. So it really is quite straightforward. So by now, you know the feather stitch. So this is a nice, easy repeat for you. So go ahead and work as many rows as it tells you for that repeat for your thumb. So when you've completed the thumb rows, you'll see you have this very strange looking long <laughs> extension here. But what we're going to do is fold it over and we're now going to seam it to the corresponding stitches along here. So you should now have five stitches here. So I'll chain one to anchor there and then join it with a slip stitch seam again to the next five stitches here or however many stitches your thumb is And so once your thumb is joined, you're now ready to carry on working a slip stitch seam for the corresponding um, stitches that you now have left. So I would now join, carry on joining where that, that first stitch of that thumb is. I would over, over sew, which is not the right word, <laughs> but do another slip stitch in that one, just so that you're nicely lined up, ready to um, slip stitch through the rest of the seam. So now, once we've got to the top of that seam, we're going to break the yarn, but give yourself a good tail to weave in. Because what we're going to do is pop it on your needle. And then you're going to stitch around the top of the mitten um, to pull it and shape it together and because it's such lovely fluffy yarn and the stitches are actually have a fair amount of space between them this this is fairly easy to do and so it's not a great big chunky gather at the top of it so just securely around the top here And just gather it as you go um, the thing about working with this yarn is you have to um, don't wait till the end to pull it tight is what I would say because um, it will get itself tangled because it kind of mats itself into the rest of the yarn so make sure that you pull it before you get all the way around and then you can weave in those ends and you can weave in your um, first end as well now See what I mean about it matting itself together. 
So the last thing we need to do is just seam the sides of the thumbs and you just need to join your yarn somewhere or other at the bottom or the top it doesn't really matter which way round you go and then just just seam the sides and then you can if you want to um, leave the thumb square but actually well, I'll show you what I did um, and then it means you actually only need to put one end of yarn in was I get to this point and then just go through the tops of these stitches and do a little gather and that will just shape the top of the thumb for you like that and then just sew back on yourself so that that keeps that tight in that shape that you'd like it and then you can continue and seam the other side of the thumb there. And then you're ready to break your yarn and turn to your right side. Pop your thumb through, turn your little cuff back and you're done. The, um, the right and the left um, mitts are worked exactly the same because because of how the thumb is worked so you don't need to worry about um, different sides for your for your thumbs just work the both the mitts exactly the same I've just realized that these little ones would um, probably make really cute little Christmas decorations wouldn't they if you did them in the colors of your of your tree and stuff so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, learning how to do the feather stitch and make these mittens. Um, as I say, the pattern is on the blog or av available as a PDF. So do go and find it. I'll pop the links below. And I'd love for you to subscribe and tap the bell button if you'd like to, um, because then you'll get notified when I do new videos, pattern releases, tutorials. Um, and it would be lovely if you find me on social media, um, hand down crochet, I'm hand down crochet everywhere. So come and find me, come and say hi and come and show me your mittens. Um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.